Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, so we, today we're going to be making this scene here. I uh, just uh, some dude are uh, swinging on a uh, swing here and uh, it all it is all physics best. Uh, so if I changed, if I wanted to change uh, the animation here, let me just uh, select the items. Why can't I select this? in pause mode so if I wanted to change uh, the animation of this I can easily do that maybe I want him to swing from really high uh, that is very easy to do so I'll just need to first clear uh, this catcher let me just clear that back then reanimate this guy from a high value like that just make sure okay so see we have changed the way the swing uh, swings I guess and I guess let me just make it a little bit different uh, by rotating this or twisting it this a bit in the air just so you can see that uh, you can see yeah it is all physics best uh, if I added another object here to collide uh, with the swing or to stop the swing from going this side I can just add another physics object to the rigid body system and uh, that should stop that so yeah let's set this up uh, you can see how the chains are also animated and uh, they kind of behave like chains would be, how you would expect our chains to behave. So uh, I already have the time lapse uploaded or yeah, to my second channel. So if you want to watch the time lapse from beginning to end, how I set up the whole, the whole thing without just going through all these step by step tutorial, uh, you can, if you are ad an advanced user and you don't want to go through the step by step tutorial, so you can just go watch that. I'm also trying out something new. Uh, so I'll be re releasing uh, the tutorials first on Patreon and then uh, and then uh, later on YouTube uh, because U YouTube only sometimes doesn't send out the notifications in time. So depending on how frequent you upload, so sometimes I would have to first uh, upload the tutorial uh, so that and uh, only be accessible for my patrons and then later. Uh, also, I want to thank all my patrons, uh, the new ones and uh, the old ones. Uh, we have been getting some traction uh, with the patrons, yeah, so thank you for that. Uh, but, uh, anyway, let's get into uh, the setup here and see how that goes. So let me just open up uh, uh, this project here. It's just a swing, uh, no animation. You can see we don't have any animation to it. Now let's set up, let's first work on the chains. I'll, I'll remove this background image. Let's set up the chains uh, to kind of work in the way we expect them to. So what we're going to do is uh, use the physics system and uh, we're going to create uh, a link of a physics object connected uh, like you expect a chain to do, to be. So I'm just going to add a, a cube, scale it down at least to the size, to the size of uh, this, uh, the chain, something like that. And uh, also make sure that uh, you apply scale and rotation. Uh, apply scale, just scale, so Ctrl A, uh, because when you're uh, simulating physics in Blender, uh, it is recommended to apply scale so that you have the right uh, simulation effect. So after you do this, uh, let's go to the modifiers and add an array, uh, the Z axis. Uh, this is going to help us uh, kind of simulate uh, the chain movement are using the physics system because uh, if we tried uh, to simulate uh, the chain movement using this actual chain, uh, it has a lot of polygons and uh, the simulation will slow down quite uh, a lot and uh, it may not even look uh, that good or, or that realistic because it will take a lot of computation power without even achieving the results, uh, realistic results. So this is a more efficient way to do this. So let's add 
good number of objects and just align uh, the rotation to kind of match your chain rotation like that and then after you apply uh, the rotation like that let me bring back my outliner here I want this to because this is just going to be a hopper object to animate the chain I'm just going to put it in a different uh, collection I'll call it chain helper and uh, after applying the modif the array modifier just go to edit mode and then hit P separate by loose parts so that you separate all the objects all the different cubes or array cubes you have created and uh, because this is these are going to be our uh, chain pieces and then uh, when you do that are you going to have the origin of each individual cube uh, being at uh, the original origin position so right click origin to geometry at reset uh, that so that each object has its own uh, original uh, origin so yes yeah, so now we, that we are done with that how uh, we can give, give this an a constraint sorry a rigid body system so so let make sure you have all the links are selected an object rigid body active now if you play back see it just falls down so let's add some ground and give it a rigid body passive if you play back you see they just fall down they're not connected in any way so to make them connected you can select them uh, since they are in the same chain uh, collection I'll just select one and then shift G collection to select the chain helper collection and then now I want them to be connected like you would expect a, a chain to be connected so just go under object rigid body connect uh, we have a few options here uh, we want the type to be point uh, so that each joint can rotate on its own in any direction or in any axis and uh, the location center or connection pattern I uh, should be chained by distance not chain are not selected to active so when you select when you uh, set this to selected to active it just select all the chain links and connect them to one piece uh, that is the active selection uh, you want them to be chained by distance uh, which will add which will connect this to this and then this to this and then this to this like you would see a, a chain link would be so if we play back now you can see it kind of behaves uh, like a chain at all there is some weird behavior but uh, that's okay uh, it won't matter that much I think it's because the scale of these objects is a bit small uh, but uh, shouldn't matter uh, now that we're done with that we can add we can kind of fix this chain at uh, the start of this chain to the end of this object uh, to this kind of object here and uh, for that let me first apply the modifier here on this object and uh, let's see we want this to be a rigid body object otherwise we won't be able to connect uh, the two so we want another helper object you can just select the two and then use uh, the same are uh, connect them in the same way so but uh, make sure this is a rigid body object so go to rigid body physics and then rigid body turn on rigid body let's see that so make sure this is passive so that it doesn't fall down or anything and uh, you can see uh, the chain because it's inside this object and uh, the collision shape of this object is convex hull uh, these chains are just getting pushed out because uh, they're inside the object so we want to change this uh, the collision shape from convex hull to mesh so that the chain can fall naturally uh, then I want this chain to be connected to this so I'm just going to add another uh, helper object you can do this directly with uh, the object menu rigid body connects but the problem with that is that uh, the connection let me just show you if I reset this uh, the connection let me, object rigid body connect you can see the connection will be added at this at the pivot point but uh, not where you want it you can obviously move this but I uh, can see this piece here is connected 
to the set to the origin of this object at this end here not where we want it to be connected so if we play back it will behave in a very weird way that's not what we want so so what we're going to do is uh, first add another object like this and uh, this is also going to be another hopper object it also needs to be a rigid body object of type passive uh, that way we can connect uh, these two origin sorry object rigid body connect you can see now that we have the connection right there you can see now it swings as expected I, I guess we don't even have to connect this to this because since it's not uh, moving uh, we can just have it like that and now we need to connect this to this so let's first make this as a rigid body. I also want it to be a single object. So let me just make it that at uh, this table and also make sure you reset origin and apply scale. Now, if we give this a uh, rigid body system, you can see it just falls down, but so we need it to be connected to this link here. So if I play back, you can see it just falls down. Now to have it connected to this, Again, you can select this ch chain or this link here and this here and go under object, rigid body, connect. But again, you will have the same problem we are having with this here, uh, that uh, this connection here will be added to the center of this object, of the two objects, which is here. So, and uh, it won't behave correctly. We want it to be attached here, not where you see this being attached. So I'll remove this connection. And what I'm going to do is uh, let me just snap the cursor to select it. I'll just add, let me use an icosphere. And this is just a helper object to kind of show us where, to help, to help us connect this to this. So give this a rigid body system. We can have it as a passive object, but uh, have it parented to this object here. Keep offset. You can see it follows that. And uh, now we can add, we can connect this to this and it will basically connect the two. So uh, actually we don't, we shouldn't parent this uh, because it will kind of break the hierarchy since we want uh, to have a, a rigid body uh, constrained connection, not a parent connection. So I'm just going to select this and then clear parent. And instead of using control P to parent, I'll just add another empty. So you can, or you can just select this and this and then object, rigid body, connect. Uh, then this it won't matter where this connection point is because uh, it's not the connection that is connecting to this. So if we play back, let me make sure. Okay, make sure that uh, when you uh, add a constraint or connecting this to this, uh, this constraint is set to fixed, not point, uh, so that this can fall with this other object. Now that we have that, uh, we can select these two, and then object. Uh, this actually has to be, uh, since we have this parented to this, uh, using a rigid body constraint, uh, then we can have it as an active so that they can fall like a rigid body system. And then we need to select this and this, and then object rigid body connect. Now we have uh, the connection exactly where we want it in this, where this should be connected. And I uh, want this to be, yeah, we can have it as point. And now if we play back, you can see it hangs exactly as we want it to hang. And uh, maybe we can extend this a little bit back. So a, a little bit, now maybe let me just, what should I do? Let me just uh, make this a little bit shorter and uh, have this connection right around there. Yeah, you can see this is what we have. So then we'll do this for the other chains, but uh, before we do that, we need to make, uh, to tie this animation of this uh, chain link uh, in the physics system and kind of control the animation of this chain. And uh, the way we do that, uh, I don't want this to be too long, so I'm just going to d divide this into two parts. So 
yeah this is part one and the next part we're going to i'm going to be showing you how to kind of link the two animations uh, so that this takes up the same animation as uh, the chain link you see here so thank you for watching again uh some of this, these tutorials are going to be uh, available to patrons first uh, because i don't uh, because youtube sometimes doesn't uh, send out notifications right away if you kind of upload uh, frequently as i upload so i just need to kind of put i don't know i'm not sure if i'm explaining it right but uh, just what i'm saying is that uh, some of the tutorials will be available to patrons first before uh, they come to my youtube channel anyway thank you i'll see you